today we're talking about the Satisfy Running Winter Drop. What is up everybody, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I wanna talk about Satisfy Running. If you're familiar with this channel, you probably know I did a Satisfy Running video in the past. Huge fan, have been a huge fan for a while now. I haven't talked about running in a while because I was injured. So if you follow me on Strava, you probably have seen that I started running again, right? So quick uh, story here, what happened is I got injured last year, left foot, uh, plantar fasciitis, right foot stress fracture, so I was out for like three to four months. Unfortunately, I kept eating the way I was eating when I was running like 80, 90K a week. So <laughs> again, quite a lot of weight. But yeah, recently got back into running again, like six weeks ago or something. I'm slowly building up. So these days I'm running like four times a week and doing swift cycling at home twice a week, right? So six active days per week currently. But yeah, still like trying to build up and like I was really surprised of like how much fitness I lost, which really sucked. But yeah, anyway, I'm excited to be back, slowly losing weight, getting back in shape. And I'm staying like pretty consistent with uh, my mileage. So I'm running like 40K a week, which is not very much, but I really wanna like be rather too careful rather than get like injured again. So yeah, I'm trying to keep it consistent at like 40, 50K for the next weeks. And then let's see where we go from there. But yeah, so satisfied running this. So I wanna talk about the satisfied running winter drop, right? There were two winter drops. They do like quite drops quite frequently, but those last two drops were really, really cool in my opinion. So first of all, they were inspired by Patrick, I'm butchering his name probably, Patrick Stangbier, Stangbier. So he's a Norwegian runner, right? And I've been following this guy for a while now and he's like pretty inspirational for me. And so first of all, he lived at, he lives in Oslo and I studied in Oslo. So every time I see his runs, like I miss Oslo, but also like his personal style journey is quite interesting. I'll link his Instagram down below so you can check him out. Many, many years ago, he used to be like deep into avant-garde, at least that's what it looks like uh, when you look at the pictures, like CCP, Hermes Cross, and all those uh, kind of brands, like the typical avant-garde brands. And then like he slowly progressed into more like Corpcore maybe would be probably the, the label if you really wanna put one on it. He moved more towards like the outdoors, aesthetic, I guess. And yeah, super interesting progression. The latest drop from Satisfy was inspired by him, right? Because he has been friends with Bryce, with the founder of, of Satisfy for a couple of years, as far as I know, and they met in Paris at Fashion Week and stuff. Yeah, the last drop was inspired by Patrick and he's really like good at dressing, I think, like re really creative when it comes to layering and also like layering in different ways, right? So do like the first layer as an outer layer and stuff like that. So super interesting experimental approach. Yeah, they did like an awesome photo shoot uh, for this drop. And so for today's video, I, I purchased two pieces of this drop, which I will show you uh, later in this video. But first of all, I wanna talk about like the drop and mainly the pieces that I really loved and my thoughts on it. So um, let's quickly look at the drop. So as I said, there were two winter packs and the second drop dropped like, I don't know, like 10 days after the first one, I, I would say. So quick overview of the of the collection we have here are the trail shorts which are probably like one of the most famous like articles products uh, from the series fair range three different color variations and yeah lots of like merino wool shirts obviously lots of hats as well and you can see the color scheme like really is matching like the outdoorsy vibes and lots of like patrick's vibes i guess and also lots of tie-dye shirts, which are pretty cool. And lots of lots of layering pieces, as well as bandanas, right? So bandanas is bandana is definitely an accessory that Patrick uses a lot. So this was definitely inspired here. So the main products that I personally loved from the first drop, so here we have the trade shorts. I have the trade shorts uh, personally in two colorways, right? I have the leopard one and the pink one. So for reference here, this is the leopard one, which is quite intense. <laughs> and then I also have the coral pink one, which is a beautiful color. And yeah, so the new color that they released here, they call it Moonlight. And yeah, it's a pretty like nature inspired color. Absolutely love this one. And yeah, here you can see Patrick wearing it. Good combination, right, with the tie-dye t-shirt that he uses as the outer layer. And then you have a long sleeve underneath 
and really like creative with the orange hat and bandana as well. So yeah. Pretty cool shorts. I can highly recommend those, right? When it comes to sizing, I would definitely size one size up, right? So I usually am a size medium to large in shorts. And so for example, like Mackie or Salomon shorts, I always buy in a size medium. And I bought those in a size large and they fit pretty, pretty small. So I probably should have gone for a size four, right? which is an extra large. But yeah, hopefully I'll lose some weight and fit into those. But yeah, moving on to the second piece here, which really caught my eye is the Cloud Merino t-shirt. So for reference, I have bought a Cloud Merino shirt from Satisfy in the past. So this is the one that I have, right? So it's tie-dyed in Japan, ultra thin merino wool. And this is probably the best top shirt I have. So first of all, it's super warm. Second, it's super like, cozy. It feels really good on, on the skin, but it really feels like it's thermoregulating. If that makes sense, right? So you don't get too hot, you, you don't get too hot, you don't get too cold. So it's pretty, pretty incredible. And I've never had a shirt like in that quality. So I wear this quite a lot. So I can highly recommend the Club Merino stuff from Satisfy. And here we have the Batik Oil Green colorway, which is pretty cool. I mean, 200 euros is a proud price, I would say, but you really can get a lot out of it, I would say, and probably have this for a lifetime or at least like many, many years. So yeah, beautiful piece. And the Club Merino stuff, like usually, is sold out even though they're pretty expensive but i think like runners know like the performance really really is there the next piece that really caught my eye and also probably on the lower end when it comes to pricing is the coffee thermal base layer so one of the things satisfy is doing with their like base layers so they also have like tights that sort of like match their technology so it's basically coffee infused clothing or fabric. I don't really know what the technology is, but basically the idea is that the coffee is thermoregulating your body temperature or keeping the top temperature in. I'm not sure if how much is marketing that to be honest, but it definitely is a cool idea and the color looks pretty cool as well. So here you can see that this garment is integrated with coffee charcoal that gives it color, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, pretty cool piece. I've never touched it, so I don't know how it feels, but I think like the color is pretty amazing and it looks like a pretty good base layer. So moving on, this was probably the piece that sold the quickest, right? So when the drop went live, I immediately checked the website and it was like sold out in minutes. So there's a packable windbreaker that came in a multiple colorway. So this was the colorway for the first drop, which is this sort of like teal green kind of color, signature runaway print in the back, which is reflective. And here we see Patrick wearing it in pretty harsh temperature or weather conditions. So yeah, pretty cool windbreaker in my opinion. 390 bucks obviously is not that cheap, but I think it's a windbreaker or always like a packable windbreaker slash like rain jacket is super important when it comes to running. So yeah, definitely interested in this piece, but as I said, pretty much sold out within minutes. So moving on, Polatec Alpha Bandana Scarf. This one sold out pretty quickly as well, right? As you probably know, I'm a huge fan of those bandana scarves. I have the, the black version, which I wear like almost daily, just like as a regular scarf, even when I'm not running. But yeah, this is sort of like the olive batik tie-dye version. Pretty cool look in my opinion. So as I said, there were two drops. The first one is some of the pieces are sold out. Some of them are still available. I just showed you like my favorite pieces from drop number one. And so last week drop number two came out. So maybe let's just check out a couple of pieces that caught my eye. So the winter pack two basically had three jackets, which were kind of interesting. So there was really this like, 590 euro three layer running jacket, which is super interesting. Like a three layer construction obviously like gives you lots of protection, right? And I would say like in general, you need like a 
packable, very thin outer layer when like the wind is blowing or like light rain, but that should be like easily stored. So that's one jacket that you definitely need. Then a second one that you definitely need is, especially when you're like trail running in mountains, is something like super warm, right? A warm jacket. And then number three, and that's the jacket we're looking at here, is when the conditions are super harsh outside, then you need like a three layer, super thick, windproof, waterproof jacket. And this is Satisfies version of this. So as you can see, the jacket is a bit thicker than like a packable small jacket. Completely waterproof, four-way stretch. But then as always has like this special touch that Satisfy brings to the table in my opinion with this like lining material Reflective prints, yeah, so pretty cool jacket, obviously not on the cheap end. But here you can see the inside. Crazy, crazy piece. The second jacket that I talked about is you need something that keeps you warm. And this is Satisfy's version, this is this Merino running jacket. And of course, with special touches, has like those two flask pockets in the back, as well as a zip pocket, and then those like hand covers, which are pretty useful. So this is what it looks like when worn. And the hand covers have this signature runaway print that is usually reflective. Yeah, water repellent fabric as well. So, and this is the third jacket, it's a packable windbreaker. So, as I said, you when you run regularly, especially like on trails, you need just like a small packable jacket, and this is Satisfy's latest version. Pretty interesting print, like this Python snakeskin print. Looks pretty cool. Runaway print, reflective print on the back. Yeah. So those were the three jackets. And another piece that really caught my eye was this Club Merino shirt. I love the gray, black, white, batik, tie-dye look. Pretty cool. For me personally, like 200 bucks was a bit too much, especially since I already have one. But yeah, beautiful piece, I think. If you can get a chance like to really feel the materials, because I really think like Satisfy is one of those brands where you really need to like feel the materials in order to understand and like to justify the prices as well. Right? Because when you see the stuff, it looks cool, but it seems pretty expensive. But once you like really feel the quality and the fabrics, it kind of makes more sense, I would say. And then there's also this long tee out of Club Merino, which is pretty cool. Like for me, those look a bit too short and boxy, right? As you know, I'm, I'm relatively tall. So this always, or usually looks kind of weird on me. But I think the color is just beautiful. It really inspired by nature, which is really cool. And yeah, then here we have this recycled Polartec long sleeve, but again here, like pretty boxy and short fit, as you can see here on the model. Another interesting product here of this drop is the Merino 8-inch shorts. So as you can see here, lots of pockets. Weighs 175 grams, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, here we have like waterproof zipped pockets, water repelling material. Those really look perfect when you run in like harsh conditions outside. And then here we have another pair of trail shorts that released with drop number two. This is a black pair. Also really, really cool. As I said, I already have two colorways of this. And yeah, if I would get a third, I would probably get this color. This is the olive tie-dye, and which is such a crazy, crazy color. This is probably the most beautiful material I've seen yet. Looks super cool when worn. So yeah, this would probably be the one I would get. 
but yeah, not part of this drop. Sorry, I'm digressing here. Next product is another pair of tights, right? Again, with the coffee technology. I think the color really, really looks cool, right? This sort of like bronze, grayish, brownish, charcoal kind of color. Hence the signature runaway, reflective print on the back again. Yeah, those would be really, really cool. But I think that 250 bucks is, yeah, definitely on the higher end. I mean, I have my Salomon tights that are Gore-Tex, like they cost like a hundred bucks. And yeah, 250 seems like a lot. And here we have the Merino running pants, right? I mean, 250 is not enough, you can spend 300. But I think those should be like super warm. And I mean, when you're running in super harsh conditions, yeah, I think you can justify spending that much. This is basically the same as the shorts, just a long version, right? So water repellent material, keeps you warm, reflective print as well. And now we're, this gets really interesting. So this is like the standard Satisfy Running trail cap, right? I have this like in three colors because I absolutely love this one for running, but also like my just casually around the house and stuff. And now Satisfy dropped like a winter version, which is like part of the second drop. And I was super, super excited about, about this one. And there's basically two colors, right? So there's this black one. So here you can see it's basically, has just, it's just a regular trail cap, but then has like this flap on the ears that is like lined with Polatec fleece water repellent material and then it sort of has like a drawstring mechanism in the back where you can basically adjust the the size and then there's this second version which is this camo green one which is super cool and this is actually the one that i bought right i was really thinking about getting the black one i don't know like usually i tend to gra gravitate towards black obviously um but for this one i thought okay so I bought this one, pretty happy with it. <sighs> Looks kind of weird here, right? <laughs> but I think when running, it's pretty, pretty okay. Uh, Look-wise, but definitely like function-wise, pretty perfect. So regarding sizing, right? I, I would say I have a regular hat, regular hat size. So when I buy a hat, like I usually buy a size large or a 59, right? So 59 centimeters uh, circumference. On the larger end, but definitely like on the average scale, I would say. And this one is really, really tight on me. It's not even like closed down in the back. So it's like on the most open uh, spot there, but it's still like relatively tight. So I would say if you have a big hat, like definitely don't buy it because it's gonna be too big for you. But if you have like an average regular sized head, you should be fine. So yeah, I did like two or three runs in it already. And I have to say, I was really, really impressed wind was blowing like crazy, it was snowing, it was raining, like different conditions. And I really felt protected. And headwear in winter, I've always struggled with, to be honest. I don't know, either it gets too hot or it gets too cold, it gets wet when it rains. And so many different variables, right? And many different weather conditions. And this is really like the perfect solution for me. The only thing that I found is that those flaps like tend to stay up a bit when I run. So I found myself like constantly like pulling here to make sure that I'm protected fully. But I guess you could still like attach a drawstring or something here in the, in, the, in the bottom if you want to. This was definitely a really, really good investment. I can highly recommend you purchase this one and maybe give you a closer look. So this is the back. You can see here, it's a close up of the material as you can see. Beautiful structure, the color is just amazing. And then here, this reflective part. And then here, the inside, you can see it's fully lined with fleece, so it's super warm, cozy. And that has this like blue reflective print here. And then the signature satisfy logo here. All right, so pretty simple hat, but ultra, ultra useful. Love the color scheme as well. Definitely don't regret buying the green one, even though the black one is awesome as well. But yeah, moving on to the next, or the last few products, I should say. So another thing I thought about buying was this Merino running hat. 
But as I know now, like Satisfy really like fits small. So I was really scared that this might be too small and it probably is. So I didn't buy it and I don't regret it. Yeah, and then we have on the bandana front, obviously a black Polar Tech bandana, which is pretty similar to mine. I actually prefer mine over this. And then we have the blue tie-dye version, which I absolutely love and I bought. So this was the second piece that I bought from the drop. Right, I'm, re I'm a really sucker for this blue and white tie-dye. I think it looks really, really cool. So you can wear it like this, obviously, the other way around, right? So yeah, pretty, pretty happy with this one. It's, it's super comfortable. And I think like a regular bandana from Satisfy is cool as well, right? But it's still like a regular bandana, just like the fabric is a bit better. But I think like those Polar Tech lined ones are really, really special because they really keep you warm. They're super comfortable. And it's just a different like league when it comes to bandanas, I would say. So I can highly recommend the Polar Tech ones. They usually sold out pretty quickly. And uh, so did this one but I'm sure they'll release new ones in the next drops. Last piece I want to talk about was this Merino running cap, which is a super interesting concept as well. And I think it's really like overlooked because it's like not the fanciest when it comes to looks, right? It's just a black cap, but they sold out really, really quickly as well. And it's basically a cap that is made out of merino wool, which is super interesting. But yeah, I really had my eye on this one, but it was sold out immediately. Yeah, so those were the two drops from Satisfy. I think those were probably like the strongest collections they've had so far. Let me know down in the comments which was your favorite piece. Those were the two items that I bought, definitely my favorite pieces. Even though like they're on a smaller end, right? So this is was like 90 bucks I think and this was like 50 or 60 so only like smaller accessories but super useful and I think like this thing ever since I bought it I use it like every day and I've used this cap for every run so pretty happy if you ever get the chance to check out their merino stuff I can highly recommend it it's super comfy super useful great technology as well yeah guys that's been a long video Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what's your favorite Satisfy piece. What do you think about Satisfy? Overpriced, overhyped, or justified? My opinion, fully justified. In the beginning, I was skeptical, to be honest. Like when I saw the prices, I was like, wow, okay. Bit much, a bit steep. But the moment I had a chance like to touch the fabrics, I suddenly understood. And I've been running in it ever since. So big fan. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the all like button down below, subscribe to the channel, new video coming next Sunday. And yes, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.